In today's Leeds news, Marsh takes swipe at Rad Razzani. Nanto considering agent change. Bait and Hjelda could be sold. Morning folks, Stuart here at The View on the 21st of December with your Leeds United news. Nearly Christmas, we're nearly there, nearly Christmas. But in the meantime, we've got some news to cover. I'm not going to cover the press conference at all. Uh, this week we're going to keep that back for the match day preview. For if you haven't seen the previews, the previews are very much in the same style as the news. They're short, snappy. Myself and Andrew Dalton um, cover the main stats and points in a video format for the game coming up and things that you'll want to know. Players that played for both clubs, history between the two clubs, um, history between the two clubs at the ground, key stats and, and appearances to keep an eye out that Andrew does as well. So that's been recorded tonight for tomorrow. So you keep an eye out for that as well. Um, cracking on and talking about the news, and we'll let's start and talk about Jesse Marsh. And Jesse Marsh has kept his thoughts on his Leeds United sacking pretty much to himself for most of the time immediately following his sacking at Leeds United. Now seems to be the time where he's decided he wants to start talking about it. He talked to CBS recently about the fact that he had underestimated replacing Marcelo Bielsa at Leeds United had learned from that. He's expected to do a sit-down interview with Simon Jordan as well at some point and Simon Jordan is known to be pretty sceptical about Jesse Marsh's ability so that'll be an interesting interview when it happens. Uh, but he's now been speaking to the Daily Mail and in this he's basically taken a swipe at Radrazzani and said that it was Radrazzani who lost his nerve and ultimately paid the price what Marsh has said on this is the following what went wrong is we were a couple of results away from really getting everything moving in the right direction and I believe that everything was already moving in the right direction but in the end the owner just lost his nerve and he paid the price for it what should be said is at that point when Jesse did feel that everything was moving he was on the back of seven straight games without a victory and was let go after the Nottingham Forest game I think I said this before I pretty much supported Jesse Marsh up until that point and when I got to Nottingham Forest you were thinking it's this has gone much further than it needs to go at this point and you can't really excuse it anymore the results weren't good enough to think that they were heading towards a good run of results on the back of seven matches without a win is hard to understand but that's what Jesse believes um, and he basically said that, that Roger Zani paid the price for sacking himself I'm sorry I'm laughing but I just think it's, like, it's an incredible statement to make um, to say that the, the owner lost his job ultimately because of the relegation but because he's fired you as a manager when you hadn't won a match in seven games you know, it was going that way at that time. Anyway, and it, it happens with managers. That's what that's the reality of it. It's not Jesse Marsh thing. It happened with Marcelo as well. He lost lots of games and the form started to dip and the club made the decision. Rightly or wrongly, the club made the decision. Same with Jesse Marsh. Rightly or wrongly, the club made the decision. And that's that's the game. You lose matches, you lose your job. And that's that's just the way it goes. Jesse did go on to say that he's he is looking at a return to football um, but isn't in a need for a job right now. He's do, he is doing sports coverage with CBS. Um, but what he has said is that he is waiting for the right opportunity to re-enter football. I think Jesse's looking for a champion his league job or Europa League job he might have to go back to Austria or Germany to facilitate that I don't think he's going to get many jobs in the top end of the Premier Division and um, compete in Europe I think it's more than likely the teams down the bottom that would be interested in to get a gamble on Jesse so um, he's not in a rush we'll see what happens to Jesse um, and we'll look forward to that interview with Simon Jordan when it does eventually happen uh, moving on to uh, potentially other controversial figures or at least at the beginning of this season and Willy Nyonto according to the Athletic Willy Nyonto is considering changing his agent following the intense nature of the summer that he had his current agent is now well known Claudio Vigorelli and he also represents Nicolo Zaniolo who's at Aston Villa currently they will be two of the bigger clients that they have and what is a relatively small agency Vigorelli was the agent who advised Willy Nanto to go on strike earlier this season and caused all of Willy's problems and he also advised Nicolas Agnolo to go and strike at Roma last year as well. So there is form there. Figarelli has repeatedly put Willy Nanto in a difficult position this season. He has consistently been speaking publicly in Italy about the player's future. Uh, very recently speaking about the fact that he would talk to Leeds in January about a move away from Leeds for Willy Nanto. Willie has found himself on the opposite side where he's having to fight back to the fan reaction on this. And you've seen some comments he's made on, on Instagram on his platforms where he's had to fight back against this, saying he's not going anywhere and he's not leaving now, according to the Athletic. Nanto is considering swapping his agencies and changing it around and moving to an agency uh, that are slightly more credible. And I mean credible in, his, in the professional advice that they're giving to people. Um, with the situation, what looks like is going on with the agent is when Leeds signed Willie Nanto, they signed him for £5 million. So you're not getting a huge agent's fee for that. Leeds now value Willie Nanto in and around £25 million, which is a significantly larger payment for an agency should they get that move done. So you can understand from a small agency's perspective, moving these players around quite a lot will make them money. 
Leeds don't want Leeds to go. They've said they're not selling him. Willie's apologised for the stuff that went down at the start of the season. He said he's not going anywhere. And now it makes sense that Willie's finally going to change that agent. It was the one thing that fans said that brought Willie back into the fold after the summer was change the agency, show some remorse, move on, we'll all be fine. And that seems to be starting to happen with Nyonto. It will be an intense January. There will be a lot of speculation around Willie Nyonto. The club will have to decide. He's not played a lot of football, so what he decides to do as well, it's a different position than it was maybe in the summer. But it's likely to have an awful lot more stuff being kicked up over the next couple of weeks anyway. So, um, But interesting to see that he has finally decided to make that move or is considering making that move away from his agent. Uh, moving on finally to the last main story of today. And this one relates to Lewis Bate and Leo Hjelde. And according to Phil Hay at The Athletic, Leeds are considering selling both players in January should offers come in. Both players have failed to make a significant impact in the first team. Leo Kelda has found himself in the position of being a left back in the 21 side, which leads with left back situation situational problems in the first team, and uh, with no Junior Firpo, no Sam Byram, and Kelda has still been overlooked as a natural replacement for those players to play there since his start at the beginning of the season when he did start a few games at left back. Lewis Bate, on the other hand, had a very successful loan spell at Oxford. We've talked forever on this channel about Lewis Bates' time at Oxford and he had a very good pre-season with Leeds United as well but he has also found himself in a situation where he can't get game time at Leeds. Bates is out of contract at the end of this season as well so a decision does have to be made there as well but now according to the Athletic, Leeds are very open to interest in both players this month should an interest and a offer come in of a acceptable level for the players and um, they're both being described in this piece as both players are being described as being nowhere near the first team currently so uh, it would make sense Lewis Bates the one for me whatever about Leo Kjelda and um, Lewis Bates the one for me that I think we might be making a slight mistake that oh, mistake on down the road and time will tell on that of course I think he's a very tidy footballer I think he's looked very good for Leeds when he has played so, um, but it's an interesting one. We'll have to keep an eye on that further into the um, next couple of weeks and next couple of months to see what happens with, with Lewis Bate. I think it's a mistake. I don't know what anybody else thinks. I think it's a mistake letting Bate go. But that's just me. I don't know everything about football. So, um, let me know in the comments what you think yourself. Are these good moves? What's your, what's your take on the Willy Nonto agent situation as well? And then Jesse Marsh's comments about things going really, really well, heading in the right direction after seven games without a win. And that led to his second and, and having a swipe at Adrizani. What do you think about them? I'm interested to see people's reactions on this. And um, thanks as always for supporting and watching the channel and i'll be back tomorrow morning for more leads news and a match day preview tomorrow evening i will see you then have a great day bye